Okay, here we're gonna look at the new in command 1200 display. Um, running multiple products. Um, running a downforce system by Aglier as well. Also have prescription set up. Try to get through all this and, and uh, show everyone what it's possible to do with this machine and display. Okay, right away you'll see our population at the bottom down here. We can go to singulation, spacing quality, skips, doubles, our gauge wheel downforce that we have, and the actual downforce that's being applied as well. Universal Terminal is right there. I'm running an IntelliAg PDC to monitor fertilizer rates uh, for my 2x2 uh, two two setup on the dry uh, corn planter here. And you can move this over so you get your, uh, your buttons as, as far as that goes. here to split screens for population, singulation, skips, spacing quality, and gauge wheel. Now I do have wave visions on this planter and I, I have noticed something interesting. Uh, last year I didn't have them on, this year I put them on. And uh, my spacing quality on my inside middle runs since there's six in the back on this particular planter, um, get more vibration uh, through the sprockets and, and chain linkage that is uh, occurring there, and that results in my uh, poorer spacing quality. And as of now, there's not a really anything I can do about it. Um, it's much more smooth where the orbital motors drive just the hex shaft and run the meters themselves. So I'm pretty excited uh, to be putting on uh, Ag Leader's electric drives, hopefully next year. I'd really like to see that space and quality a lot better. But our simulation is pretty decent, I guess. And you can split screen it as well like this. Come over here. You can show your uh, singulation population. Um, and, and you can see exactly that I have issues in the center here. And without this visual representation of it, it'd be hard to really know what's going on without a setup like this. Oops. And you just want to swipe it over. Good spacing, poor spacing, and you can see what's going on there. And that's based upon uh, your alarms, I, I believe. I don't, I haven't read the book yet. I probably should do that. And you can load up references uh, if you got. Uh, I guess when you're combining, you can load up uh, references as far as your legend is uh, e um, variety and, and such. change the view on it like so like that I like how it shows the individual sections on everything sensors there for each of my sections then and a manual gauge there as well.
also. Just checking the varieties, what's going on, the rates. Loading the guidance line are the, are the same. Uh, as far as in here, you can save them, switch them. Oops, I actually forgot to fill that. Good example of where to do that at, right there. And that's where you would load your prescriptions over here as well. Ah, that beeping's that, uh, my implement switch for the PDC keeps on jittering. I should just lock that up for manual. And you can look at your nutrients here that you've been putting down, productivity. If you want to check out our uh, downforce on how to adjust that, it'd be right in here on a two channel system. set up but this is where you would import export it or create uh, you know outside line or inside ones headlands and a neat little feature if you want to do your headlands last and you had a boundary set up and then engage that and kind of puts a false headland there for you for auto shut off to, to work with it So far, I don't really use this view too much. This one's probably more something I like to watch. And if you get the camera enabled, it'd be right there, split screening it. And you can change uh, product, region, event, and settings here easy enough. You still have to dis disengage uh, logging for that to take place though. Running Digifarm for our RTK services. Modules still is the same as the Integra. Quick look at the planter. slots on the side there. When loading up uh, data, you get to select which one you have available to you.
and to reference your zones. I'm new to this too, this is the first year running this machine, so let's see if we can get uh, a map of our zones on here. Let's click it that way, go like that. References. features, does a lot of things. Uh, they did get away, at least I haven't found it yet, uh, the virtual sea trench uh, that was on the Integra. Not available here. At least I haven't found it yet. It's a very nice looking display though. Um, pretty easy to see. Uh, and uh, very bright sunlight. It doesn't reflect much at all. The Integra seemed to be a little bit more shinier uh, on the display. I do like this feature where you can split screen the, uh, the virtual terminal or universal terminal. That's nice. Being able to do that still keep up uh, what's going on on this side over here. I wish there was a little bit more configuration of what actually gets shown on there. Now you can see how that implement switch keeps on jumping up and down. It needs, it needs adjusting or something's wrong with it probably. But. it's pretty informative to let her know what it's capable of doing. Thanks for watching.